guys. Hey guys, it's Evan the Cat King here with another video. Today, I'm doing another tier list video. I've, I've done a, a few of these ranking characters and stuff, but today we're doing Stranger Things characters, because I really like Stranger Things. I've recently gotten back into watching it again, and I'm really enjoying it so, again. So, I really liked Stranger Things. So, um, yeah, I decided, yeah, let, let, let's let's do a Stranger Things tier list. Um, I found this one. It, it, it I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Some of these people I don't remember. Others I, of course, I remember. But I'm gonna hop right into this. Kicking things off, we got Eleven here. Of course, Eleven's the main character of the show. She's the telekinetic. She, she, she's a, she, on. I really, I think Eleven is a great is. A great character. She, I'm gonna put her in the S tier. She's not gonna go God tier because, I mean, she she's not God tier. But um, either way, um, Mike. Not gonna lie, I hate Mike. <laughs> I think he, if if it was only season one, Mike, he'd be up here right next to eleven, or maybe a step below. But ever since season one, he's just kind of gone downhill. Over and over again, and I I think that just he starts up here season one, but then it's it goes on. He just drops a tier every season. I'm putting him in D tier. I don't I don't like Mike. He he in in season one he's he's just a good friend and he really cares a lot about his friends and he wants to protect them. He's he's great in the first season, but then season two he's just a grumpy. And, and cranky, just annoying dude to be around, and he's just, just, and he's, he's just so, like, mean to, like, Max for no good reason, it, it's, it's stupid, and then season three, he's, he's, he just isn't really important, and he's kind of not the best to Eleven, and then in season four, honestly, he, he was just sidelined, he didn't do anything, and that's, but he, he gets D for me, um, Lucas, Lucas gets an A. Lucas, um, he was, after season one, he may have been one of my least favorites of the main characters, but, um, as time went on, like, se season one, he was kind of just another one of the gang, and he was, like, the more problematic, like, kind of causing problems for the gang, if anything, I mean... Like, he was really against Eleven. He he just, uh, he gotten, he was stuff with him and Mike fighting. And, but, um, season two, he really stepped up. He, he had, he had the story with Max and him and Max's, like, relationship started. That was a real nice. Season three, he didn't really do much. But then season four, um, him and Max really just completely were him and Max in that season really stepped up. And I mean, that was a great season. I hope he's doing a lot in season five. I feel like he, season four was his biggest season yet. And I hope that he can keep that like importance going into the future. If if he's only, I mean, maybe he'll, he won't really be too. I, I don't see him really being like a main, like the main, main, person going up against Vecna, I think it's obvious who that the people who are going up against Vecna are going to be, like, the main characters of season four. I mean, five. Season five are going to be Eleven, Mike, and Will. But, um, yeah. Dustin! I, I, I don't feel like I need to say anything. Dustin, he's he's the best. He's he's one of the... he's From the beginning, Dustin is just the best. He's one of the best. He cares about his friends. He's just... And then... Uh, and he, he was uh, pretty dang good in season one. And then he just got better and better as the seasons went on. He Season two started his friendship with Steve and then season three that that it's like kind of became even better and then season four he kind of became a lead more of a leader in later seasons as well it, it's it's real it's been a really good I, I really like Dustin but yeah Will not gonna lie I'm I, I think Will gets a B for me Will 
I think he's he's definitely gonna he's definitely possibly he's one of the most important characters in the show. The whole first and second season were kind of centered around him and what he was going through. Like season one was all about finding a way to save him from the upside down. Season two was kind of all around him being possessed by the mind flare and trying to stop the mind flare through will and he he definitely season two season one and two he was very important but then kind of season three and season four he's taken a a step back he's sidelined i mean it's it's a shame but i mean in in reality i guess Will didn't really have much to do in the in season three or season four, so I I can't put him up above B tier for in my opinion. Nancy Wheeler, um, I think I got I'm gonna give her an S tier. Nancy is a great character. I think her her starting her she's had a lot of character development. I'm gonna put her below eleven, but her development like she started out as just. Someone who just really wanted to kind of fit in, it felt like. Someone who who was trying to... I don't know. She was dating Steve in, a, in like, kind of just... Was another, like, rich, spoiled person, I guess. That, 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 that's kind of the best thing I th- th- think of. But, um... And then as seasons went on, she just became just more and more of a... Of, a, of uh, just a a tough character. She she became and then her whole thing with getting into like journalism and stuff and like being like investigating everything. It it was great. I think Nancy is one of the best and all the stuff with Steve and Jonathan has been very interesting. But yeah. Jonathan, I'm going to give him an A tier. He goes below Lucas just then I think he goes above his brother, perhaps, because, Will, we haven't really gotten too much of him just as a character. It feels like Will, we haven't gotten that much of, but Jonathan, we we know what Jonathan, who Jonathan is. Will, we know, he's, he, in the first two seasons, we didn't really meet him. <laughs> Not that much. We didn't get much of actually Will being in the season, because he was... In season one, he was in the Upside Down the whole time. Season two, he was possessed by the Mind Flare or Vecna or whatever. And but Jonathan, I, 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 him in season one and season two were absolutely great. Everything and of course he kind of did take step back. Season three and four, he just became Nancy's boyfriend, which kind of sucked. But either way, I'm putting Jonathan there. Um, him and Argyle are hilarious. Um, Steve, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't need to say anything. He, I, I'm not saying anything. Joyce gets an S tier. I think she goes above Nancy. She is the best mom. She's the best parent. Actually, no, she's the second best parent. Oh, uh, Steve over here. Um, she's the second best parent in the show. She, she's just, and it, she's just, she's really just the most motherly person in the show. Um, she seems to always be have an important storyline. She's always doing something. She's always involved. Like, like, of course, like, um, season one was, she was the one with, like, all the lights and stuff, and she was a big part of finding Will. Season two, she was a big part of saving Will from the mind flare. Um, because season four, her, she was, a uh, um, teaming up with Hopper and Murray to stop the... The Russians, the whole Russian storyline there, that was a kind kind of weird, but, and then now, she, and then season four, she had the whole saving Hopper from Russia. There's, there's, just, she was always involved, and I think it's great. Um, Hopper himself at God tier. He's he's one of the best. He, from starting off as just a depressed dude who who is just still getting over the fact that his daughter died and. Then to becoming a 
like Eleven stepdad, and then eventually the all everything with Joyce or J- Jopper, the the Joppa duo. Um, he he's he's gotta be god tier. He's I, I'm putting him below Dustin and Steve just because I don't know. <laughs> Uh, um, he, I, I like Steve and Dustin so much that they, no one beats them, in my opinion. But anyways, time to move on. We got Dr. Brenner. He sucks. <laughs> he saw, he, well, he's, as a character, he doesn't suck, but I'm giving him an F tier. He, he's an absolutely awful dude. He completely... He's he's the main antagonist of season one. You may think that the Demogorgon is more of the main antagonist of season one. If that's your opinion, then well, that's your opinion. I can't. I, I don't, I'm not gonna try to persuade you differently. But he like he he Doctor Brenner just he was he, he's such a uh, just a an absolute a hole in season one and. I feel it felt like they were trying to redeem him in season four, with everything with Eleven and gaining her powers back, but it didn't really feel. I don't think it really worked too well. In the end, I think that Brenner is definitely a. I'm giving him an F just because he. Well, he's the villain. He's the bad guy, but either way, now we have Max and. Max, I I don't know if I want to put Max at the bottom of God tier or at the top of S tier. She's, like, right in the middle. I wish that there was a middle tier. Like, just... I need to make Max her own tier. Like, it, it's weird. Because she's, de- she's definitely above 11, but she's I think she's below Hopper. Everything with her in Season 4 makes her one of the absolute best characters. I'm putting her in God tier for now. We'll see if it stays like that. Um, but either way, she she was she she was uh, okay in season two. She was a nice addition to the group. Season three, I really liked her friendship with Eleven, and she got to do quite a bit in that season, in my opinion. Everything with Billy, she was very involved with like the main storyline of that, and then. Season season four, oh my god, everything with her was absolutely perfect, I think. It was absolutely incredible. I I can't like hit her like her whole storyline there was absolutely amazing. But anyway, moving on. Billy. I'm gonna give Billy a C. Billy, he's he he's he's just like Brenner and the fact that he's an A. <laughs> He's an absolute douchebag, but he he, they, he has a reason for that. He was kind of abused as a child in a way. His dad is a really kind of just uh, isn't a good dude, and he kind of yeah. And also, he 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 ended up saving the group after he was like got his uh, mind back after the mind flare took control of him. Billy, it was a I think he he was a pretty solid character. And it's a shame he died. I I I could I would have loved to see him being just more of a part of the group, perhaps in season four. Maybe I I would honestly love to see him and like I honestly I don't know why, but I'd love to see him and Steve interact more. Cause from what they did in season two, I mean Billy didn't seem like that bad of a guy right off the bat. Like, I but I would have loved to see more of Billy, but it's. Too bad. Robin, um, uh, I'm putting her in S tier. She goes at the bottom of S tier. Um, we've only gotten two seasons of her, but she is absolutely hilarious. She brings out the best in Steve and Dustin, and like her, 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 the trio of Steve, Dustin, and Robin is absolutely amazing. It, I I love it, and I can't wait to see it uh, continue in season five. I hope none of them die. If one of those three die, then I will be. Then I would officially be very sad. <laughs> Erica, I'm gonna give her a B. B. She she's hilarious. I really love Erica, but sadly she's she's not. She doesn't have too much importance in the show. She she's 
She's she's kind of more important in season three and four, but like, I don't know. I think she's hilarious, but she's getting a B for me. I mean, she hasn't done too much in the show. She was helping with the Russian with with Dustin and Steve and Robin in the season three, and then came back for season four. And yeah. Karen can go right next to her son. She, honestly, she was... It's weird how she's considered, like, a main character of, like, all the seasons. Like, she's considered a main character, but she honestly... She's just not. She kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I don't care about Karen at all. <laughs> but, um, Bob Newby... I, I need to get through some of these quicker now. Um, he gets an A tier. He's going to... No, not above above Jonathan I'll, I'll say Bob Newby I'm so sad that he died but anyway Eddie Eddie Munson to uh, incredible who knew that you could create such a good character with only one season of him oh my god Eddie was amazing Barb bottom of C Murray top of A <laughs> I love Murray. Um, Sam Owens, Doctor Owens. I really, I, I kind of, I liked him. I, I think he goes bottom of B. He's like a good version of Doctor Brenner. <laughs> um, Argyle, he can get in B as well. Um, Mister Clark. Honestly, I'm giving him top of A, maybe below Murray. He was, he was just a good, he was a good teacher. He was always there to help. And it was absolute. It, he was always a great. He was just a. He was a good dude. Um, Russian dude. He can go at the top of C. Eight. Chilla down there with Doctor Brenner. Um, Ted, you can hang out with your wife and son, Holly. Uh, you're. You're okay-ish. You're okay. You're going at the top of D. You're going at the bottom of D. Um, the other Russian dude. Becky. Becky and Terry. Becky? Yeah, I thought Ter Becky to be okay. Um, Terry, I, I, I didn't care too much for the whole Eleven's mom storyline kind of that's what it kind of was um larry Cl is this the mayor i think this is the mayor i'm pretty sure that's who this is this is the mayor he he sucks he is absolute crap he he's a douchebag chrissy she 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 deserved better her and eddie should have ended up together you can go at the bottom of C, Fred. Patrick. You can go at the D. Um, oh my god, you, you suck. <laughs> Jason Carver. Jack Sullivan also sucks. Tommy Hagen, uh, you, you, you suck. Heather Hollow, I, I don't know. <laughs> Alexi. My sister really likes Alexi. <laughs> um, Carol, she's better than Tommy. Ugh, this 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 douchebag. He's he's worse than the douchebag Susie. Get up here, top of C tier. Um, Victor Creel. Oh oh oh. Uh, you can go in there. Troy. James is a bit better. James is a bit better. <laughs> Grigori. Oh, I I don't know him as Grigori. I prefer to him as Vladimir. Um, he 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 can he can go at the bottom of D tier. Angela. There's only one character worse than you. Lonnie. There's only two characters worse. Than Keith, get up there. Top of S tier. Connie, there's only three characters. 
Claudia. That's, um, Dustin's mom. I actually really like her. She, she was, I, I really wish that she could have been. Benny! Benny! <laughs> Benny deserved better. Um, I'd... I, 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 I remember these guys. They're like eight, like, gang members, but I don't remember them enough to just put them really anywhere. I, I don't really remember them at all, actually, in reality. Miss Kelly, yeah, here. You, you were, you were just an old lady. You, <laughs> two. There are only a few characters that are worse than you. Okay, actually, there, there's actually quite a few. Wait, oh, this is Eddie's uncle or whatever. Flor Florence, I, I really like Florence. She was, she was, she was funny. She was a funny agent. Who are you? A agent Neil Vecna is definitely the best villain of the season of the series so far. Um, one hundred percent. The mind flare actually. I, I really like the mind flare too. <laughs> Vicky, go up there and be tier. Um, Mister Bingham. Who is Mister Bingham? <laughs> Dart. Dart can get a. B or a, a C. Yeah, a C. Who's Jake? The regular Demogorgon. I, I, I think he's he's got he's ahead of Dart. Anthony Hatch, who are you? The Russian Demogorgon. You're at the bottom of well you're you're here. Who is Andy's just another random dude who worked for Jason. I don't know who you are, so you can go there. Who are you? Ray K I I remember you. You were you were just you were you worked for Brenner. Um I don't, I don't know. There, there we go. And that's that's the tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of just sped through some of these la uh, later ones, because, yeah. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye.